Um, I was privileged to work on uh, a congressional study, the, the project on national security reform, and I got to meet with some real remarkable people in, in the U.S. national security uh, system through the years. And one comment gentleman made was, you know, when we had a crisis, uh, we would sit in the security room and the, uh, the, 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 they would sit in the command centers and we would hear from the economic analysts that would tell us kind of, you know, the, the economies of the region and how they might be affected. We'd hear from political uh, analysts. We'd hear from the military analysts and they'd come in individually and give us their PowerPoint presentations and their conversations about what it means from that aspect. And then they would leave the room and it was up to us to integrate that into a thoughtful course of action. And he said, and I would have given my kingdom for a generalist who can actually, who can integrate this? You know, I want a country expert. That's good. A military expert, but I don't, you know, now it's just like the integration of the glass integration of the eyeball for the information streams. The same idea. I needed a generalist, somebody who could be creative, understand across these disciplines, how things might pan out and what our best course of action might look like. Um, and I think that applies here as well. The creativity is the core aspect, the ability to, again, check one's ego, relinquish control, and consider creative approaches to, to, um, to the problems that we face, to trying to solve problems, right? Now, align that with somewhat famous cognitive resource theory that says the more experienced you are, the less innovative you get, because you already know how things work. So in a high-stress environment, this is the person you want working on things. I have a great amount of experience. In a low-stress environment, when you want to think creatively about the future of the company, that's the last person you want in the room. Because they're, they're going to go right to, yeah, no, I saw that before. No, that's, no, that never works here. But, you know, they, they embed, they, they bring with them all of the cultural learnings, right? The chimps in the cage example, um, all the cultural learnings that they don't even know how they got there, unarticulated culture. Um, and they just say, well, that's not going to work. That Trust me, I've been here before. That won't work. Whereas they may be completely off base on that because the world has changed. They have partial information. They don't know why they have some of the biases they have. And even at the brain level, they're not hearing some things that disagree with their notions. 